Morning, everybody. It is quarter past eight. I forgot to do an intro beforehand, so we just stopped to get some refreshments. It's hot. Yeah, and it's warm already. It says my car says seventy, but it's definitely hotter than yeah. seventy. Uh, we're heading up to Grafton now. We just went to Seekonk, so you'll see the Seekonk footage after this, and then Grafton, and then that's entertainment, maybe. And then that's entertainment, maybe. We'll see what's going on. So stay tuned. And as per usual, smash that like button, comment down below, uh, share the video if you can, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you later. Bye bye. You getting on the games? How much for a game? Yeah. Street? I'll do 20 for that. Games, man. You should pick that up if you don't have it. Which one? Which one? No, I got it. It's <laughs> amazing. Good. You, you got Tom and Jerry. I've got, it, I got, I got, yeah. I got it signed by Nathan Jerry. 15. I'll think about that. Thanks, yeah. Jay. No problem. Bolts on. Um, Ooh, I didn't. Yeah, I wonder if that's the one for two, dude. No. Ah, oh, man. Well, I mean, want to know. is that spray painted? I don't know, bro. Oh no, no, I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's painted. Yeah, it's galaxy painted. But. No, they're like reseals. Take it easy. Hey, take some spear and stuff. Don't worry, don't take it. Yeah, it's like the stores had them and then they resealed them. Oh, okay, okay. That's Are cool. they just cases? Yeah, the most most of them are just cases. Weird. Yeah. But um, you know, someone might want it for cases. I figured I'd put them out. I like empty cases. Yeah. yeah I figured. It'd be what are you looking for in the cases? Yeah, so these are all just empty cases. Yeah. But then this one too. Ten bucks. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Easy piece, brother. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. If you got the game, you're gonna be in the money. Yeah. Awesome. Thank Thanks, dude. I appreciate yep. it. On that, okay. Bye. It's cool. He's very nice. Oh, yeah. last week they said, Mom, it's a good one. And it wasn't for me, but, but if it was a good one, I would have told yeah, like yeah, But it was nice that she remembered. It's just cool nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. Well, but she was thinking about it. Yeah. 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 It's cool. <laughs> Three, four, I got one more. Okay. Cool, thank you, sir. Here you go, awesome, appreciate that. All right. Five bucks, time splitters. All right. Okay. Okay. Three. Not a bad one. Not really worth anything, but pretty good game. There you go. How much are the games? Five bucks each. Yeah. 
How much is the PlayStation? 50. 50. Not much left. <laughs> 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 There's Bendy Coop. You don't want this Stay close. Pikachu or Blair Witch? There you go. Ooh, what's that Destiny thing? I don't know. The it's huge. I was just looking at it. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. I mean, Destiny is worth garbage. Two thousand six. Oh, it's a steel book. I mean, not that the the game at all matters because it's fucking garbage. No, but no, but I mean, box is Destiny cool. fan, I like kind of I liked Destiny. I played oh, it for a long time. I, I played it for a second. You shoot it and doing stuff in the box. Anything? No, nothing. Anything even like? I mean, you want someone else? Live shit, binge and purge. Oh, it's you. For you, sixty dollars. Oh man. I would give you sixty cents. <laughs> um. For both of them, I do like ten bucks. Right. You know, Destiny's not worth it, but I like the collector's editions are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they Anything fun and exciting? Okay, I think I might have had like an extra. Anything fun and exciting? <laughs> Same old. Shit. Yeah, I feel you. The dark summit. There you go. Anthologies. <laughs> Paintball Championship. You, you, ten on that. you don't want the Mario? I don't know. I don't know. What do you want for the Monopoly? Uh, five bucks. I, I owe you ten. <laughs> Ooh, disturbed. I don't want it. I don't I don't want it. Take it away. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's even right, it you all got her out there? Drive yeah. Away. Be careful, please. Don't get hurt. Hey, go up there. A little bit, yeah. What's for uh, some CDs? Five bucks. I don't really like that either. What are your uh, VHS going for? See, that one's five bucks, the rest are two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you showed interest in that one. I know, but I know. I, mean, <laughs> I like Transformers, and you like Transformers, and I like VHS. Any, uh, like Joe stuff or anything? No. Yeah. Any uh, other yeah, no. Nintendo figures? I remember I bought some more. Oh, no, not today, no. And they have like four of them. Aw. 
buried in the uh, garage somewhere. Actually, they will be there eventually. Uh, well, uh, you got more oh, oh, yeah, Nintendo yeah, stuff? Like some some shit, yeah. Yeah. Always. Oh, you, get this oh, yeah. you always set up here, or? Uh, on occasion. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't Crazy. set up uh, as Ooh, much as I should. Yeah. What's the uh, Donkey Kong thing going for over there? The, uh, Ten bucks. Oh, the little backpack there? Ten bucks. Ready? Found it. Dude, don't, <laughs> don't do that. I found it here once. Yeah, I know. The other guy had Yeah, it. the guy that has all the DVDs and stuff usually. For the, for for the, the game, uh, the game, the game cube. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw some of the scores you got out of there oh, randomly and like yeah, CDs just yeah, something. just mixed yeah. in. Well, you know, it's, we probably had it somewhere. Someone probably took it and moved it. And we completely forgot. But about it, it. probably, yeah. It's, it's, You're it's, not wrong. It's just the game that like sports games. It's like the rarest sports game. Well, because that was the last year they were allowed to do and college it was, players. It's, 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 the, the cycle run it had, you know what I mean? They didn't make them. Oh, so they yeah. made them. It was at the end of the yeah, At the end, it was, it was, it's honestly the rarest game on the game. Well, that, that's what it is. It's just for the collector. So no one's going to play it. <laughs> You're going to pay the price for it. Yeah. <laughs> I picked one up a couple weeks ago because it was lightly scratched. I paid 100 bucks for it. Oh, was that the. I, I saw the video. And, um, yeah, that place near me. Yeah. And uh, we got it resurfaced at That's Entertainment. And what do they charge you for resurfacing? They're up five to bucks. five bucks now. Oh, yeah. I'm actually, I just need to break down and buy a machine. So, do you see Jelly's clothes next door to there? Did they? Yeah, record store. Yeah. Oh. The prices were so high and everything. Yeah, yeah but you anyway. know what's funny? I don't know, I know what I'm saying, like, I don't know what I'm saying. It's almost like a play to me. I can't Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I've had some pretty good luck with uh, video games this past week and from like the prior week before is a couple of these. So I'm just going to kind of go through everything, tell you where I got it and what's going on with it. So uh, first I'll start here. I got these both a couple weeks ago at um, the Seekonk Flea Market. I think it was my only real pickups of the day. I paid 15 for the pair. Um, seeing this one often enough, I knew it was like a 15 to $20 game. This one I thought was only like 10 bucks, but apparently it's like a $30 game. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not in my collection. I am a Terminator fan, but the Terminator 3 was, eh, you know, nobody really cared for it. <laughs> but, uh, still definitely cool pickups for 15 bucks for the pair. Um, just kind of fast forward, um, I grabbed the Killer Instinct statue actually at a flea market Marshall we went to. I have a whole nother video for that coming out. So make sure you guys check out for that. But I left that in my car, so I forgot to put in the video. I forgot to stick it in this one. Um, then basically fast forward to last week in general. Uh, I'll show you the real good stuff for last. But I uh, went to the flea market, uh, Seekonk and Raynham uh, and Grafton. And then that's entertainment at... Seekonk, I grabbed this guy for two bucks. I haven't tested it yet, but I figured for two bucks it had the battery cover. Um, it was worth taking the shot on. I grabbed this stack of unfortunately empty cases along with that Spider Man, but I did only pay ten bucks for it. But there's some decent stuff in here. They were obviously all rental cases. Um, 
nothing super crazy but i don't mind having it like this actually has the manual with it um and then just like some whatever stuff but for 10 bucks for some empty cases i'm not going to complain also grabbed uh time splitters for five bucks off of a guy he had a lot uh together but it was missing some stuff somebody spray painted the playstation I asked if he'd split it. he said 10 bucks and then he said five bucks so i took it uh it's actually in really nice shape so Nice pick up there. Uh, this was kind of a funny one. I picked it up during the week at my local library. They have like what they call a book nook and they put stuff that they're selling. I paid a dollar. So it was a previous rental from the library because my a lot of my libraries around here rent video games out and then when they get older, they get rid of them. So for a buck, I'm definitely not going to pass that up. It's like a like 20-ish bucks. So definitely nice there. And then I went to... Uh, my next door neighbors actually had a yard sale and I was walked over cause Xander wanted to check it out. And I asked, you know, Hey, do you have any video game stuff? And he's like, actually, so he ended up pulling this, you know, box out with all these games. Uh, I paid 10 bucks. So it's, that was his price and you know, not bad. The lot's worth like 80 to 90. So definitely cool to find some NES stuff. And I, I mean, he knows what I do. He's seen my yard sales and everything. So he was cool with it. And these are all his from when he was a kid. So definitely nice to pick that up at a yard sale. Very cool to find some Nintendo stuff. Uh, then, kind of bouncing back and forth, uh, we went to Grafton Flea Market. And I picked up this Destiny Collector's Edition. I know it's not worth much, but I got it off of uh, an old friend. Um, I paid 10 bucks for it. It's it's cool. I like And it's got the steel book. It's got the box. I love the Destiny. So I figured, what the hell, for 10 bucks, I'll grab it. Um, grabbed all these off of another one of the vendors who was also a buddy. He gave me, um, 20 bucks for the stack. I think actually two of them are from somewhere else. The, um, I think Sky Shark and one of the other ones is actually from That's Entertainment. Paid cheap for it, but I needed them because I have the boxes. But anyway, uh, so 20 bucks for the rest of the stack. Not bad. Uh, definitely take that. I was running low on NES stuff, so be nice to now have this giant stack of NES stuff. Um, let's see, where are we going to next? Do, 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 do. Went to my buddy Eric's shop. Uh, you guys know that's, um, important of retro and interesting collectibles. Grabbed uh, another stack of NES stuff because, uh, I'm, I got a bunch of the games that, uh, I have the empty boxes for. You guys haven't seen that yet, so make sure you stay tuned. And I grabbed a bunch of these. Um, Maniac Mansion is one I've wanted for a while in my collection, so I'm keeping that one. And the rest of them are going to end up going away. So definitely he gave me a good deal. We did like a trade cash thing. So very happy there. And then uh, kind of like something that's been in the making for a while. Um, well, actually, <laughs> grab these at the the flea market. Uh, Jesus, Grafton flea market as well. Um, this one was really cool. Grant pointed it out. I'm a big Mad Max fan and I love this box art uh, for this. So I grabbed that for my collection. The Blair Witch is just a nice horror movie to pick up that will end up being at like ritual world so that's coming up quick but uh basically a buddy of mine he hit me up a while ago and he's like hey i got this bin of games for you um you know you want to give me something for it he's like and he ended up just dropping them off and be like here just take them i want to get rid of them and i'm like i'm gonna go through it i'll give you something for it especially seeing this game sitting on top um it's complete really nice shape i mean that's an easy hundred dollar bill right there if not more and then there was some other solid titles and then you know you had your you know your normal you know whatever titles nothing crazy but stuff that i know i'll be able to move it was also an xbox 360 there's a original xbox underneath four 360 controllers all the wires my buddy's meticulous he takes care of his stuff so i know that this will be working with no problem um so i definitely thanked him for that i said thanks a lot matt i really appreciate it uh also the nintendo 64 was part of it um and these games these i didn't even know these were in there until i pulled the bucket apart um that night to look at it but the, the thumbsticks on these are super super nice they jump back no issues so though that's really nice on top of that i mean these are like 20 to 30 bucks a piece alone and then <laughs> a couple n64 games in the bottom mario 64 mario kart 64 um both those had the manuals and then goldeneye which everybody loves uh and i mean last but certainly not least out of this lot which was just awesome more nes games mostly kids games uh but i didn't realize 
this game is actually kind of uncommon and goes for about 40 to 50 bucks just for this Fisher Price game. So if you guys see that, I'm sure a lot of people are going to pass it up, but definitely keep an eye out for that one. It's a, it's a good one to pick up and you'll probably get it cheap. Uh, it's not a good game by any means, but you know, it's apparently desirable. So, but that's it guys. But this is also why you tell friends and family what you do, because my buddy would have just donated all that to like Goodwill or Savers or something or thrown it in the garbage. Um, and you know, they know that I buy, sell, trade video game stuff. And he contacted me and came down and I actually dropped him off at my house. Um, just cause he wanted to get rid of him. So I really appreciate it guys. Make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, um, comment what your favorite pickup was, or if you saw something I didn't pick up that you would have definitely mentioned that too. And make sure you subscribe. If you haven't, we're really close to 9,000 subs. Uh, I'm going to do a contest when we hit 10,000, so hopefully we can do that by the end of the year, maybe even somehow by Retro World Expo. We will see. So thanks as always, guys. Appreciate it. Peace out.